Harlene Quinzel was a brilliant psychiatrist whose life was corroded once she met a man called the Joker. What was once a patient she was willing to heal, Joker became everything Harlene's life centered around. She was drenched in the same chemicals that drove the Joker insane, turning her into the villain known as Harley Quinn. She was co-created by Paul Dini on Batman the Animated Series, and since then has become one of the most popular DC characters. Harley Quinn is more complicated than you might think, especially of late. If you like DC Comics and the type of content that I make, be sure to support my channel by subscribing. With that out of the way, let's explore Harley Quinn. Harley's been associated with the Joker for a long time, and still is. For years, Harley was chained at the Joker's side, not because the Joker forced her to, but because she refused to let go. She was wildly in love with him, and that grew into something very toxic very quickly. The relationship between the two psychopath clowns was often one-sided, and even more often, abusive. Harley blindly followed the Joker's orders, even if it endangered her own life. The name Harley Quinn is a reference to an iconic character in Italian and French theater named Harlequin. The personality traits of Harlequin are patient, kind, admirable, and witty. It's a little bit ironic since Harley Quinn's personality traits don't really match that of Harlequin very well, um, but Harley is definitely a much more dangerous and unhinged version, fractured in a broken mirror. But DC soon realized that Harley was held back in this horrible relationship with the Joker, so they decided to have the two break up so that Harley could become her own individual character. Especially in Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey, DC is putting emphasis on the fact that Harley doesn't need the Joker to be a great villain. I think this was a great decision on DC's part since Harley's popularity in media has skyrocketed since she was cut free of the Joker. Her mad love for the clown prince of crime has ended, and now she is free to fully be herself, even if that self is a criminal. But to expand upon her previous obsession with the Joker, I want to read out a quote. From my last video, I read Injustice Year One again so that I had a fresh image of the story in mind. While reading the comic, I came across an interesting quote from Harley. In this scene, she is speaking to Green Arrow and alludes to her love of the Joker. She says, Have you ever loved someone you knew was wrong for you? Someone who hurt you over and over again, and hurt those around you, but you forgive them because losing them would hurt even more? End quote. Even though Injustice isn't canon, this quote perfectly sums up Harley and the Joker. It's a messy, cruel, and unnecessary relationship that was bound to end at some point or another. Harley Quinn has had numerous solo comic runs, as well as her own animated series, which was hilarious. She is a sort of free spirit when it comes to her dangerous lifestyle, which is what a lot of fans like about her. But more than that, Harley Quinn has been seen to break the fourth wall multiple times. Marvel has used Deadpool to accomplish this as well, a way to comedically connect with the audience. I'm really glad that Harley is now seen for her individualism. I think the DCEU version of Harley Quinn is actually one of the best that we've ever seen. Her wildcard personality really comes alive on screen, in a way that's different from the comics. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the former psychiatrist. I'll see you in the next one, so for now, take care everyone.